the women have come to get the water. The men are starting the fire. This thing's gonna be looking you in the eye. <laughs> it's as you're... Go, 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 go! <laughs> I don't think many people realize the true scope of backcountry skiing on the East Coast. And I got sick of explaining it, so I figured why tell you when I can show you. So I grabbed my friends Alex, Hans, my husband Dana, and Adam. And then there's me. I'm a born and raised Vermonter. I've spent countless days touring in the woods, and I know that sometimes the East Coast is a bit more work. And that's what's motivated me at various times over the last decade, to get in my car and drive 10 hours north, up the Gaspé Peninsula, to the Chick Chalk Mountains. So if you haven't guessed it already, that's where we're headed. On all these previous trips, I never really got to know the culture and the people that make up this region. I wanted to find out how, in recent years, this remote fishing community of saint anne des Monts has become an eastern backcountry skiing mecca. With all that said, our mission was simple. Ski some Eastern Canadian spring corn and chow down on some fresh local snow crab. It's spring, so naturally it rained. To buy ourselves some time and hopefully a weather window, we checked out a new bakery in town run by Marie-Ève, a former backcountry ski guide. I'm Marie-Ève Saint Laurent. I'm owning a bakeries and coffee shop called Marie Poche. Marie-Ève's bakery is equipped with maps, guides, and homemade espresso energy bars. This new backcountry-based tourism economy in the Chick Chocs makes a shop like Marie-Ève's possible. It's really nice for the economy here and for uh, everybody and for just people in general. It's yeah. healthy to go out and ski. But we knew this wasn't always the case up here. So we met with one of the original backcountry skiers in this area, André Bollier, to learn a little bit more. C'était assez rare les 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 gens qui euh, qui profitaient de la montagne ou qui faisaient des activités en montagne. Ça faisait pas partie de la mentalité. I ski on the mountain since maybe more than uh, 45 years, maybe 68 or 69. We have put our ski on the on the back and some tents. We go uh, a walk have really some fun on the mountain for a week, uh, a week and a half, and uh, we go down uh, when we have uh, no food to eat. And although camp and ski options still exist, we opted for a more modern route. Nowadays, there are roads, an avalanche center, and guides to help with navigation. That's Stefan. He owns and operates Ski Chick Chocks, and he's been guiding in this area for many years now. Ski Chick Chocks will take you up on skins, a snow cat, and my personal favorite... A love boat. The main access to the heart of the Chick Chocks is an old mining road. We were using it to access some more exposed terrain that I've been wanting to get up to for a number of years now. Stefan had mentioned that since it was mid-April, we'd have our best chance to ski these lines. Looking for soft snow. This is Charles Stevens, a.k.a. Chip. He's a Yukon Gold TV star, a ski guide at Ski Chick Chocks, and an all-around badass. And if any of these bigger lines are skiable, Chip's the first to know. Snow's not inviting us to ski, that's for sure. The snow conditions don't seem very stable or skiable. As our first day on skis came to a close, without skiing much of anything, I couldn't shake the memories of the last time I was up here, in those trees just across the bowl, on some snowy February day.
The next morning came with low visibility and some not so ideal weather in the high alpine. Unfortunately, it was too cold for crab fishing and too rainy for corn. But we knew we had to stay limber somehow. So we went for a swim. Just kidding. But we did find a little roadside attraction in a seaside village just down the coast. Good morning! We've got sunshine and hopefully some snow crab. Well, we have been up in the Gaspé Z for a few days now and we have been hunting some crab fishermen. We, we just finally tracked down a boat that is going out to collect its pots and hopefully come back with great big bounty. The queen crab is definitely on the, on the rise and, and uh, cold water is definitely one of the big reasons why the crab here is so good. We met with Stéphane and his friend Jose, a local crab fisherman. Jose Sarva, uh, saint anne des monts gaspésie A lot of people were fishing and uh, working the forest, and the leisure of backcountry skiing was was not something that people were used to, and it, you know, it's it's a fairly new thing. He's a skier though, and uh, rare fishermen are skiers, and enjoys going skiing there with the family when they can have some time off, and uh, just the joy of skiing in family, so. <laughs> the joy of skiing even puts a smile on an old fisherman's face, which reminds me of a time with some friends just a few years back. While we waited for the crab to come in, we visited a relatively new kind of gas bay resident. Well, actually, winter time is more like, um, well, vacation for me. Put my skis on here, and I go across the street there, and I, I go skiing just over there. I come back after like an hour and a half and go back to work. Julie's love of the mountains and the sea is reflected in her artwork, made from sea glass, driftwood, and other treasures that wash up on shore. My name is uh, Julie Fournier. I'm a glass artist, and I live in Cap Renard, Cape Fox. You know, I just um, go with the light of the sun. come all this way, and with 24 hours left in our trip, 
we had yet to eat some snow crab or ski some spring corn. So it was harvest time. But part of being in the backcountry is knowing when to back down. We're gonna have to, I think we're going to have to ski the saddle down. With multiple wind slab releases on the climb through the couloir and promises of more to come, we made the decision to ski the safer saddle. Let's go walk. Easy. We had a great time hiking up a couloir <laughs> and then skiing down a saddle. But up here, persistence is just as important as the weather. And that makes getting the goods that much sweeter. Sometimes it's corn, sometimes it's pow, and sometimes it pours. But that's springtime in the East. Dear crab, thank you for giving your life to me so I may eat you. There you go. <laughs> Here goes nothing. It's exciting to hear the passion for backcountry skiing echo in the Saint Anne de Mont community like it does in my own. And while the Gas Bay economy still relies heavily on fishing, we met people who are bringing the mountain and the ocean worlds together to steward a new era for the Chick Chocks. Mm -hmm.